Knowledge, the nature of reality, has always been one of the maximum profound questions for humanity. Whilst we sleep, we regularly discover it difficult to distinguish goals from reality. This leads to a philosophical question. How can we know what is real and what's no longer? In clinical phrases, something is taken into consideration real if its homes are decided prior to being measured. For instance, an apple can be green even when no person is looking at it. But the Quantum International seems to follow unique rules, and recent discoveries have challenged our expertise of truth itself. In 2022, three scientists were presented the Nobel Prize for experiments demonstrating that our universe isn't always locally real which means items do no longer have precise residences until they may be discovered, and that these houses may be motivated instantly over substantial distances. To demonstrate this, recall a thought test related to human beings, Anna and Luke, who were located on contrary sides of our solar machine. Two cash are sent from the middle of the solar device, each centered closer to one observer. Even as the coins are shifting through space, they are spinning. In line with quantum mechanics, it's far not possible to our expecting which side the coin will land on, and the effects are random. However, while Anna measures her coin and sees heads, she immediately is aware of that Luke's coin has landed on tails. The chances of successfully predicting this 200 instances in a row are 1 in 10 to the power of 60, that's extra than all the atoms in the solar device. Regardless of the giant distance among them, Quantum mechanics shows that Anna can maintain predicting Luke's consequences primarily based on her own, as though the cash have a type of telepathic connection. This phenomenon, known as the einstein podolsky rosen paradox, seems impossible, but it as it should be describes how the universe works. Quantum entanglement is on the coronary heart of this thriller. Traditionally, scientists believe the sector was deterministic. That means that in the event that they knew positive houses of a bodily machine, they might decide the whole lot approximately that systems past and destiny. But, quantum entanglement describes a nation in which particles stay linked irrespective of how a ways apart there. Because of this in case you create an entangled pair of particles and send them in contrary guidelines, growing the space among them, measuring the quantum nation of one particle will instantly decide the country of the alternative particle, even though they're mild years aside. To recognize this higher, believe packing containers, every containing either a white or black stone. Whenever and any place a person opens one of the containers, they without delay realize the coloration of the stone inside the other container. Experiments have established this across distances of hundreds of kilometers, over the year's durations of much less than 100 nanoseconds. One nanosecond is identical to one billionth of a second. If the two entangled debris by some means change information, they do so at speeds thousands of instances faster than mild. However, there may be greater to this thriller. Just as we stand on scales to measure our weight, scientists degree particles to find out their homes. What if those properties handiest end up determined in the mean time of measurement? This will mean our universe couldn't be both nearby and actual. At the least one, if not each of those premises could be wrong. Defining reality is hard. We don't see tiny particles, yet they exist. We can't contact the air, yet it's miles there. So what's actual? In physics, something is actual if items constantly have specific properties, regardless of whether we're measuring them or not. In other phrases, a falling tree in a woodland makes a valid despite the fact that there is nobody there to pay attention it. Locality method that objects can best be inspired with the aid of their environment, and that this have an effect on can't travel quicker than light. It's vital that our world is real because, as Isaac Newton believed, if we understand the positions and velocities of all substances of our global and become aware of the forces that affect them, physics can are expecting what the arena can be like at any time inside the destiny. But, the quantum international frequently has an indeterminate nature. It's frequently random or cannot be predicted. Recall a simple test. Fill a field with numerous radioactive atoms and wait. Generally, it can be expected how many atoms will continue to be and how many will decay but you could never recognize for sure which atoms will and may not survive. Or hearth some of debris via a narrowly spaced double slit. You could predict the interference pattern that will seem on the display at the back of the slit, but you will in no way realize wherein every man or woman particle will land, even if they're fired separately. A few factors of quantum physics appear completely random, however are they really random, or do we simply lack facts? 
Albert Einstein believed that entanglement wasn't violating local realism, however, alternatively, that quantum physics was incomplete. He concept that the variables connecting these entangled particles might in the end be discovered. But the three scientists, John Clauser, Alan Factor, and Anton Zielinger, who shared a Nobel Prize, proved that these hidden variables don't exist. They concluded that an entangled particle doesn't have any homes till it is measured. And for this reason, those houses cannot be regarded or guessed via any manner. If the universe isn't always real, then what exactly are we seeing and experiencing? A set of physicists in Los Angeles has proposed a brand new concept of reality based totally on periodic patterns or crystals. Crystals can take exceptional shapes or even exclusive dimensions. A better dimensional crystal can be projected to create a pattern in a lower dimension, referred to as a quasi-crystal. Physicists took a specific eight-dimensional crystal, projected it to four dimensions at a positive attitude, and derived a three-dimensional quasi-crystal, which they agree with is the substructure of all reality. The fundamental building block of this 3D quasi-crystal is called a tetrahedron, a three-dimensional triangle with all sides of the equal period. This length is the smallest theorized unit of length in life called the Planck duration, that's 10 to the power of negative 20 instances the scale of a proton. If an atom have been the dimensions of the Earth, the Planck period would be about the size of a proton. In line with this principle, similar to virtual presentations encompass the smallest devices of a digital photograph, pixels, a tetrahedron is a 3D pixel of our fact. Each tetrahedron has a few states wherein it could exist, and the state of one tetrahedron defines the nation of different tetrahedrons that fill the complete universe. However, if a tetrahedron can best be in a single specific country at a given moment, who or what dictates the kingdom it need to be in? Physicists worldwide accept as true with that truth is made of records. But what's facts? Records is meaning expressed via symbols, but which means is nothing else but comparison or an ability to perceive something relative to something else. Contrast, and that means require choice in other phrases, focus. Therefore, similar to we know the residences of an entangled particle whilst we degree them, meaning or facts can handiest exist while it is perceived or measured. If that is actual, fact could be a made of recognition. Another interesting concept is the simulation speculation, recommended by the Oxford logician Nick Bostrom. Some scientists consider the percentages we stay in a simulated truth are 50 fiftieths. If we were by some means able to prove we are residing in a simulation, how could we do it? We would begin with the concept that the hardware developing the simulation does not have countless computing strength. Otherwise, it'd be impossible to distinguish our fact from a surely created one, and we wouldn't be able to notice any system faults. Scientists are searching out ways to make a simulation screen itself by way of growing experiments that might overload a theoretical laptop with finite computing resources. Additionally, Computing hardware leaves artifacts of its lifestyles in the simulated reality its miles strolling. Therefore, there should be a limit to the processing speed of operations per a certain quantity of time. It in order that occurs that we've such an artifact in our universe. The speed of light, which remains the identical regardless of the observer and has an upper restrict that can't be explained by physics. This can mean that if a laptop accomplished one operation per second, its memory box size for the variable space might be roughly 300 000 kilometers. Perhaps we've got this light speed limit because otherwise, we'd be capable of journey to another galaxy before the PC may want to application it. But, this isn't always the handiest indication that we is probably living inside a simulation. Films and video video games frequently depict things from the characters' perspectives, displaying an integrated experience that serves no reason for the characters themselves. This enjoy is only for the advantage of the viewer or player. If we take delivery of the simulation hypothesis as our reality, focus obtains a clean reason. It is an incorporated subjective interface consisting of five senses. No herbal laws, philosophical or clinical thoughts are expecting the emergence of recognition, and there is no clean software or evolutionary gain it provides. It appears its primary characteristic is for there to be an enjoy. However, on account that experience without any clear application or evolutionary benefit is so strength expensive, it have to serve a person else, an observer or a player. If at some point we find out a way to simulate aware beings, the chances that we're residing in a simulated truth might skyrocket. 
physicists on the University of Maryland have already been capable of simulate a single nucleus of helium composed of two protons and neutrons. They consider that if they could simulate an atomic nucleus these days, possibly in 20 or 30 years, they might simulate a molecule, and in 50 years, an item the dimensions of some inches. If progress keeps, it is possible that in 100 years, scientists ought to simulate the human brain. If we're certainly living in a simulation, we aren't programmed to do matters. We have unfastened will. Possibly someone desired to look what we might do without any instructions and what would occur. The long years we enjoy in our truth would possibly only be mints to the writer of the simulation. However, giving a recreation individual its own cognizance is some distance beyond any era we presently possess. So, what do you consider? Is the universe and the entirety not what it seems? Are we living in a simulation? The questions surrounding the character of fact are profound and complex, inviting endless hypothesis and investigation. Whether via quantum mechanics, the concept of entanglement, or the possibility of living in a simulation, those thoughts project our expertise of existence itself. We want to pay attention what you believe you studied, so pontificate within the feedback and percentage your angle in this captivating subject matter.